So this question gave us a cosine value of negative 7 ninths and told us that tangent of theta is negative. They wanted us to find sine of 2 theta. Well, even if you had no idea what to do, we should feel comfortable about what the actual question is asking us to find. Sine of 2 theta. Sine of double theta. Hey, we have double angle formulas. So straight up from our uh, reference sheet, I'm not making this up, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not all knowing, I'm just reading my reference sheet. I should know that sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine of theta times cosine of theta. So to answer this question, I just have to plug the sine of theta in and the cosine of theta in and do some al uh, arithmetic. Now I should be happy that they gave me one part. But gosh darn it, they do not tell us what sine of theta is. Well, the idea is the same as in unit 6, which was the same as unit 5. Knowing a trig ratio is sort of like having a key to a right triangle. It completely unlocks it. Because the idea is, if you know an exact trig ratio, you can always, always, always draw a triangle. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So on the side here, scratch work, if I draw a triangle and put my theta anywhere... What information do I know about this theta? Well, according to the in given information, I know for a fact that the cosine of that angle is 7 over 9. Yes, they did give us a little negative here. I personally like to ignore the negatives when I'm drawing a triangle. I'll take care of the negative at the end. Well, knowing that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, I know for this picture the adjacent of this angle is 7 and the hypotenuse is 9. That leaves me to use Pythagoras' theorem to figure out the missing side length. So what is that? The square root of 81 minus 49, uh, that is to 32, square root of 32, which is can be simplified, right? So 32 is 16 times 2, so that's 4 rad 2, right? So I can just read the picture. What is sine of this theta? Opposite over hypotenuse. But why, what about the negatives? We, we just ignored it. Well, we have to know what quadrant we're in. Anytime we're doing trig stuff, we always got to be uh, conscientious of what quadrant we're in. This information says cosine is negative and tangent is negative. That's what the less than zero means. Less than zero means negative. So ask yourself, of the four quadrants, which quadrant is cosine and tangent negative in? I hope it doesn't take much thinking, you know, here's x positive, y positive, x negative, y negative, that tangent and cosine is negative in the second quadrant. So you have to be mindful of the fact that we're in quadrant 2, which means sine, when I substitute the sine, is going to be positive, because sine is positive in quadrant 2. So the answer should be 2 times sine of theta, which again, according to this picture, is opposite over hypotenuse is uh, 4 rad 2 over 9 times the cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, and because we're in the second quadrant, it's going to be negative 9, oh, 7 over 9. Okay. So then you just do arithmetic. What's that? Um, negative, I know there's an 81 in the bottom, and that's 8 times 7 is, what's that, 56 rad 2. So negative 56 rad 2 all over 81. Should have been the value.